Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video for you guys today. I have a haul from chanelbeauty.com or chanel.com. I ordered some beauty products from them and I wanted to share with you what I got. I haven't had a chance to play with them yet or wear them. So I hope to do that tomorrow morning. And if and when I do, I will do a follow-up video of a review and also show you the looks once I have done that. But I thought I would just hop on here and show you what I got because it's not going to be as pretty once I start dibbling and dabbling my brushes in it. Um, before I do that, I'm going to apply some of my lip balm because I need it. <clears throat> These are so cute. The um, like turn locks. These little bear lip smackers. This, in, this is in uh, Love You Strawberry Much. These are so cute. I got them in like a double pack at Target at like Christmas time. So cute. So this, so Chanel has an option. I don't know if it's just for beauty products or if it's for any of their products where you can choose how you want your item to be packaged when it arrives. You can, you, you can choose from like their sustainable cotton drawstring bag with Chanel on it or like their traditional box packaging. I don't know if that includes the cute, beautiful Camilla flower on the front with the black Chanel bag. So that's why I didn't go for that because I didn't want some lame plastic shopping bag of Chanel like you would get at Nordstrom's, you know? Like I've never gotten it with the cute Camilla flower on there for some reason. So I went with the drawstring bag because I thought this would be super chic and cute. I don't own anything Chanel besides beauty products. Uh, Chanel's not really my thing as far as bags and stuff, but I will say there was a gorgeous pair of logo studded, like with pearls on the side, sunglasses that were to die, like just so pretty. Like I could sustain less winage fighting traffic on the way to work if I had those on my face, blocking the sun and the realization that traffic is never gonna end. So I haven't checked out with that in my cart yet though, because they are $700. And my little Christian Dior sunnies uh, are doing me just fine. I always get compliments on them and I love them. So, <sighs> but there's something about them Chanel ones, but I haven't gotten them so far. But anyways, so I did check out with this and I'm really pleased with how this arrived. I thought it was so cute. This is fun. You can put your lingerie or your delicates in here while you're traveling. This is a great reusable bag or your beauty products or whatever it is. This is just a cute little bag and you just kind of open it and the drawstring is really tight too. Like it's a really good quality bag, I will say. And on the inside, it was really fun because it has all of this cute, fun kind of little papers, you know, and it, it's just like cute and just nicely done. It also arrived in this, or this was in the package, this Chanel envelope, which is my receipt. So <clears throat> I'm not going to show you because my information's on here, but I will let you know the prices of each of the items in case you are interested. So um, actually it does not even have the prices on here, <laughs> so I will not be doing that. <laughs> you can go to the website and check it out if you are interested. I don't know why this wouldn't have the prices on here, but it doesn't. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't do that, but anyways, there's just this piece of paper in here that really kind of means nothing, <laughs> but I mean, it does, but <clears throat> it doesn't put the prices, so anyways. All right, so let's get into what's in my little Chanel makeup bag. I also got tons of samples, so <clears throat> yep. And then in here it has this little Chanel card and I opted to give myself a personalized message. I always do. I think you're crazy if you don't because who else is gonna like cheer for you if you don't cheer for yourself? Um, so I made myself this little card. I like to stick these on my bulletin board in my office just to like, Take a glance, if, if I'm having a hard day and I'm not practicing gratitude, just seeing these little notes remind me that I'm very blessed, I'm fortunate, and just these little notes to myself just remind me, the little nuggets of wisdom. Um, 
and it just says the gift of being beautiful on both the inside and outside xoxo so that's what i wrote to myself and i just like it because it's got new little chanel on the top and um i do this with anyone louis vuitton david yearman um tiffany i always stella mccartney i always do the complimentary card option for myself because I don't know. It's just like a thing. I don't feel complete if I don't even, you know, have that, have that option. So yeah. So <clears throat> anyway, so that's that little card. So let's hop in. So the first thing that I got is the ultra latent and I may be pronouncing these wrong. Um, it is the ultra wear all day comfort flawless finish compact foundation and I got this in the color, where's my color? <clears throat> I guess the color is BR12, but it, it looks like this. The packaging says this, this. So I'm going to open this. And all of the little Chanel's always come in these little suede <clears throat> things to hold the compacts in, which I like. I think that's a cute touch. Um, so this is the compact. You can see my reflection. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like on the back. So this is in, yeah, the shade BR12. I don't know that it has a color name other than the number. This lasts for 18 months and it's 13 grams if anyone is interested. And you just have a little kind of push button right here and it opens. So I like that it has this big wide mirror. This really attracted me to this for my purse and touch ups mid thirties right now. And professionally, I'm looking to really polish my appearance and rise above from my depression and start taking care of myself physically again, especially, and that includes polishing myself up. Um, I don't think that you need makeup to be beautiful, but I, there's something about the art of getting ready and just polishing yourself up that just really does set such a high amazing standard for your day or at least it used to for me and I got so much off that bandwagon that I really want to get back on it so <clears throat> I'm really excited about hopefully really liking these products and yeah so that's what it looks like it has the pressed Chanel in here and then it has this sponge that you can remove I think I did pretty good matching my color I didn't go into a store or anything. I know that this might look a little dark, but I have a lot of warm undertones and the other options didn't, uh, I don't know would have worked for me. So yeah, so again, this is the Ultra La Tint, uh, Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Compact Foundation in BR12. So I really like this and I plan on keeping this in my purse as my foundation compact. <clears throat> so, yeah, I ordered a really cute sort of Louis Vuitton, Damier Abin inspired, uh, huge round cosmetic bag that I plan on putting all of these in and kind of transporting to and from in my purse. Um, the cosmetic bags from Louis are just too expensive for me to justify paying that much, but I do like things to match in my bag. I have a lot of authentic Louis Vuitton items. I don't really condone buying knockoffs, but what I've purchased has no LVs or Louis names mentioned. It just is a brown checkered lookalike bag. Um, <clears throat> so, all right, next this is from the, or actually I'll wait for that. To kind of go along with that, I got the Les Beiges Healthy Glow Sheer Powder, and this is a number 10. And it looks like that, that, and <clears throat> I took this as a powder, but I think online it's almost like can, it's sort of meant to be like a bronzer, I guess. So again, you have one of these protector suede 
covers and it looks like this really chic cute compact and then it tells you the color and stuff on the back this is number 10 18 months 12 grams and again you have a little push on this side and you open it and what i love about this is that you do have a mirror again so you always have a mirror with chanel products you have this cute little brush that sets the top of your I had to learn that there was a cover on here on top of your powder <clears throat> so this brush i've heard is actually really good quality for kind of brushing on and it's flat so i won't be tossing that i don't ever really toss my brushes or anything um, so this does look a little darker in person, but it kind of looks like it will work for, <clears throat> I'm trying to get with my skin, with my skin. You see like why I chose this? Like this is the best match online per what I could see. So am I supposed to keep this plastic part to keep my brush clean? I mean, I kind of want to, to keep it like clean, but like it seems kind of obsess obsessive. Yeah, I don't know. Is that supposed to go on there anymore? Let me fix this. Sorry. Like, I don't know. Like, is that supposed to go on here? Should I keep that? Anyways, <laughs> sorry. So, yeah, I just like how this will complement the foundation. And I'm looking forward to trying this just to get a good overall just clean coverage. I'm not wearing any makeup now. I haven't worn makeup in forever. I, I don't typically wear makeup because I just point blank period would rather sleep than get up and like take time to do it. And I haven't felt pretty or my best in a long time. So I just haven't wanted to, you know? Um, so this is from there, but I'm trying to turn that around is the whole point of this. <laughs> So this is from their, I guess, spring collection or the, um, is it called the Les Ombres collection? Les Four Ombres. It's the Multi-Effect Quadra Eyeshadow. This is in number 68. Delish, delicious, I don't know. But it's this gorgeous new springtime quad that I just fell in love with. And I just felt like I have enough eyeshadow, but this one I needed. It gives you a little card with some inspirations. That was look two. This is look one. I won't use these, but thanks anyway, Chanel. Again, you have your protector suede with the CCs here. So love that on each product. And then you have this cute little eyeshadow compact. It tells you all of your colors right there and all of your information. Uh, this is in number 68. And I guess each color, um, there's a purple that's called medium. Well, I guess it's just kind of giving you the dark and the lights. It's not really giving them names. This is 18 month shelf life and 0 0.07 ounces. So again, you have your push button right here. And again, what I love about this is another mirror. Like you can just do all of your makeup and not even have to keep the same mirror because every product of Chanel's has its own mirror. And I love that. Um, and even the little plastic covering in here has the CC logo. The protector thing has the little CC right there. Um, so it's like a cute, unnecessary, but cute touch. And these little guys fell out a little brush and thing here for the eyeshadows, but I'm gonna try and keep them in there. But these are the beautiful colors. I think they are so pretty. You have this gorgeous purple, this sort of corally brown, like taupey color um, with like a hint of pink. You've got this brown shade and this gorgeous shimmery light yellow that could pass for a really soft beige, a cream. 
And I just thought this would be really beautiful with my eyes. I do have green eyes. I think this would look great on brown eyes too. There's something about purples on green eyes and brown eyes that are really just like chef's kiss to me. So I really wanted this. This was quite expensive. I think this might've been like 70 bucks for this little thing, but I just really liked it. So, so that's that. And this is that one. And <clears throat> then I also got, I'll go through the samples last. This is the last thing I got. There's, there's another palette that I want. It's the face palette. But it's $90 and I really don't need it. I have the Tam de Soleil from Chanel still. I have tons of bronzers and blushes and like MAC things. I just can't justify buying another palette no matter how pretty it is because I have so much. And at some point, excess is excess and you need to choose well and buy less. And I have not been practicing what I preached. So that's annoying to myself. So I'm trying to resist but there's a gorgeous lipstick shade that was just released from their Rouge Velour Allure, I think, or something like that. And it's in the color Eternel, or Eternal, with two L's and an E at the end, and it is gorgeous. It is so pretty. So I don't know, I may have to grab the lipstick at least, if not the face palette, but I didn't do it on this order because I was so close to buying those freaking $700 sunglasses, so. The last thing I got is, um, I really didn't have a reason to buy this, but I really wanted it to be on the go in my makeup bag for at work or something. And it's the Chanel Retractable Kabuki, Kabuki Brush, number 108. Um, and it looks like this, the packaging. And I mean, this doesn't have a shelf life or anything because it's a Kabuki brush. Um, but yeah, it has the Chanel logo at the end and it's not just painted on, it's like actually like textured in there, if that makes sense. Um, and then it just says Chanel on the bottom and it is magnetic. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't, this is the first time I've opened this one. And then it just <clears throat> goes down like that firmly. And I really like this because it's very dense and it will give you a really good foundation coverage. Like this is really good to not only just touch up your makeup, but to actually apply your makeup. It's so hard for me to find a really good like powder foundation applicator because so many of them are too fluffy and they don't give you that density to really buff it in your skin. So that's kind of why I kind of strayed away from wearing makeup. Also, I got tired of like, just, I don't know if I lost my beauty tools or I just got bad. I just went so long without applying it that I lost my tenacity for it. But in any case, this is a really great brush with a really good density that will give you that really good buffing in of your powder or foundation. So I'm really glad I got this. This was pricey-ish. You know, it was about 40 something dollars, maybe 45 bucks but it's in a great, sleek, cute packaging, first of all. And um, <clears throat> making sure I close this right. It's in a great, sleek packaging and it's just a highly, highly functional. Like you won't regret having this in your bag. I mean, this is great. This is like <clears throat> sophistication to me, for me at this point in my life. Um, it's the little things. So that's that. And then let's talk about samples that I got. <clears throat> you could choose some options. I thought I was thinking about how I wanted to use my samples and mostly I want to put them in my makeup bag, like in my purse. So that way if I need to touch up on the go or for whatever reason I'm running late and I don't have time to apply mascara, but I'm seeing a client at some point, I can just quickly put some on. So for example, I got the little mini mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because haven't done that yet <clears throat> and it's just in this cute little tube with a little Chanel on the end which is really cute and I think it's just in black but ooh, it only has a one month life it says <laughs> well, that's short-lived how long has this sample been around um oh this is not Wow, this is not a mascara, actually. This is a uh, 
mascara primer. My bad. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a primer, a lash primer. So this one will be my makeup bag for like getting ready in the morning. Sorry, my bad. I'm a little ditzy today. It's been a long, long day, week, life. Then I got a mini Coco Mademoiselle. Little perfume. Coco Mademoiselle. So, yeah, I don't know that I've ever even smelled the Coco perfume. <clears throat> I'm going to put some on. Mmm, not mad at it. It smells good. Mmm, that smells really good. I've actually never smelled this perfume for some reason. I don't know why, but I've just never smelled it. So I will put that in my little makeup bag that I'll take in my purse and I'll keep it in this so it doesn't spill. But this is a cute little like touch up for dinner kind of thing. Um, mm. Yeah, I really like that. I would maybe purchase the whole bottle of that. I wish I would have known about it before I bought my Giorgio Armani. Did I only get two samples? I thought I'd gotten three. I have sworn I chose three samples. Maybe they forgot to give me one because there is no other in here. So, oh well, I guess. Because all that's left is just this kind of like confetti paper or shredded fancy paper. Um, yeah, so, well, I guess there's no more samples in here. So that's everything. Here again is my nice little drawstring bag that has so many uses, so cute. Simple, minimalistic, but makes a statement. Um, so yeah, and like I said, I apologize. I did not get a chance to review these items before talking about the haul, but I hope to put together a face tomorrow and hop on here really quick and give you a quick review of what I think of these products. And I might have more items to show you because I really wanna get that lipstick. It's in stock at my local uh, Chanel and Nordstrom. And I really want the face palette, but I, I don't know if I can justify $90 for something that I have so many items to use up that I haven't. So in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. I have some really cute, I feel like I got off center for some reason when I kicked this. Um, I have some really cute things to show you coming up where I have been rocking my old school ride or die, my Louis Vuitton Damier Abin Speedy 30. That bag turned, I think it will turn 13 this year. And it is just such a ride or die. It's the original style. So it's before they did the zipper on the interior pocket and before they even had the option of the bandolier. So I purchased, um, I didn't do a haul of this either. <laughs> I'm so bad of the Yayoi Kusama. I also purchased a bandeau, the mini, I think, is it the bandeau? Are they called bandeaus? Uh, I think so. Uh, it's the mini or the BB bandeau, whatever they call it. And it's the black one that has the, the multi polka dots on it. So I got that and I've tied it around on my speedy. I don't like the bows, the bandeaus, when you do the bows on the bags, it's just, it's, it's too much for me. I don't like that look. Um, <clears throat> but I did like a little tie around like where it's not a bow, but it just kind of like hangs and it's just like, you know, decorating it. And then I ordered this super cute bag charm online from Etsy. I've never really been a bag charm kind of girl, but I saw a few people that had some on Instagram, just like browsing randomly. And it was the same bag I had. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so cute. And so then I just kind of went online and started looking for one for myself. And I found one that I think is so cute, very unique. It's not Louis, but who wants to pay $800 for a freaking bag charm um, that looks the same as one of the Etsy people. So it looks elegant, it looks cute, it looks chic. I don't do tacky, especially on my high-end bags, but I can't wait to share that with you guys. And I have so many things to review. Like. This manicure may look tough, but it has lasted more than two weeks, maybe even three weeks. And this is the OPI gel polish. It's not the one that you need um, 
it's not the one that you need the light for or any UV anything. Um, that's why I really liked it. So this color, I think it's called like paler than pink or something like that. It's so perfect. This is totally my vibe, like totally my vibe and color. Um, also I rediscovered my Pandora rose ring and I have been loving it and wearing every day. I wear my return to Tiffany toggle bracelet, the original and my Jenny K black onyx bangle. And then I always have my return to Tiffany heart matching ring. Um, and then this is from my parents for Christmas this heart locket. I haven't yet put pictures in it, but it's got like a blue background and like a sort of tree of life. And then my David Yerman trusty hoops that I love that just make me feel put together even when I'm not. <clears throat> um, and I also got some new David Yerman earrings that I purchased at an auction that I need to tell you guys about or show you. But anyways, I've got a lot of videos to come up with. And I also want to talk about mental health and just where I'm at on my journey, check in with you guys and hopefully be a word of reason, give some encouragement and relatability on this platform. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.